Hi, my name is Mandy Garrick, one of the clinical specialists here at Midmark. Today we're going to go over setting up a ventilator on an anesthesia machine and review its controls. We will want to begin by getting the ventilator and all of its components unpacked from the cardboard box. We'll have the ventilator itself, the bellows housing, the bellows, our drive gas tube, power cord, pressure sampling T, and the corrugated tubing. You will also need a supply hose and a demand Y. Now we'll begin the install of our ventilator's components, starting with the bellows. We're gonna put the first convolution of the bellows onto the mounting ring of our bellows base. You can then grab the bellows top here and lift and lower it several times so you get all the creases and folds out. Next, we're gonna place our bellows housing onto the ventilator. You'll want to place the tabs to the right of the locks and have your numbers towards the front of your ventilator. You'll gently push down and twist. Next, we have our corrugated black drive gas tubing. That will go on the back of the ventilator on the two drive gas ports. Here and here. We're now ready to place our ventilator onto the anesthesia machine. For this particular machine, we're going to place the ventilator on the top of the upper shelf near the absorber head. Our next step, we will take our bag off of our reservoir bag arm. In its place, we're going to place the clear corrugated tubing on one end. The other end will go to the breathing system port on the back of the ventilator. Our next component we're going to add in is the airway pressure sampling T. We'll start by removing the patient breathing circuit from our inhalation arm of our anesthesia machine. We'll push the sampling T onto the inhalation valve and reattach our patient breathing circuit. There is a lure lock fitting that came with your pressure sampling T. You're going to push that with the barbed end onto the end of the clear tubing. Once that's installed, you will attach that to the presser transducer port on the back of the ventilator. Now we're going to connect the ventilator to our scavenging system. We'll remove the tubing from the exhaust port of our APL valve and put it on the exhaust port on the back of the ventilator. Now to connect to your oxygen source, we will need a supply hose and a demand Y. The demand Y will go to the back of the flow meter. You will need to remove the oxygen hose to your oxygen source if it's attached, and then the demand Y will go onto the back on that same fitting. Now that the demand Y is installed, we can install our supply hose. I have one end on one side of the demand Y, and the other end will go onto my gas supply port on the back of the ventilator. And now finally, we can attach our hose to our oxygen supply to the other side of the demand Y. Now our final step in setup is going to be to connect our power cord to the back of the ventilator, and then we can plug it in. Now we'll review the controls of your ventilator. The volume control is what is used to set the amount of ventilation and adjust the minute ventilation of our patients. The adjustments are finer increments for lower tidal volumes and coarser for larger tidal volumes. Our rate control is used to set the respiratory rate in breaths per minute.
Down here we have our power switch. There is a green LED light to indicate when the ventilator is on. Over here we have our maximum working pressure limit control. This is used to set an upper limit for which you wish the airway pressure to never exceed. And finally, we have our inspiratory hold control. This is a push button that is used to pause the breathing cycle and for as long as the button is held, unless the maximum working pressure limit is exceeded.